In this video series, we are going to discuss about formula and function with some project work, some project, some with example, some practical work with some data that we will work. So uh, here we have one complete format of table. Okay, so we can say that's table. So in this way, we are going to make one table. And here, if you see here some data, we have typed. I have typed some data as well as formula. If you click it here, you can find the formula. All we have done this. So if I will show you this formula, we can find here numbers of formulas are there. So when you click it here, you can find here formulas. This all formulas. So this for the discount we have formula and then payable formula we have. Uh, so you can find like this type of, okay so let's i'm going to uh show it once like this uh here yeah you can find numbers of formulas all right so like this okay so these are formula as a formula we can see uh normally if i will not show the formula you can find so here you can find like this Okay, so let's i'm going to show you uh and another thing i have formatted here so that we can find numbers of p p p p by default uh and here rupees 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 and here also rupees here also rupees or you can use any currency that all together we will work so uh here let's um we are given this data it's a simply we can type see here it's a normal data here no format at all we are given like this and here instructions also given create a following worksheet so we are going to create this data from this data almost like this types of table we will create we will create okay so in very short simple uh, method I, i'm going to teach you first let's see the title this is our title okay so now i'm going to teach you first what is merge okay merge of sales so here all we can find this all different data all different cell so these are non-printable this you cannot print this uh, tables these are non-printable if you'll see here file and then print preview you can find here these are non-printable only data are the here see here only data but we are not able to print uh, so you can make it printable so first let's select like this and here after the u you can find here like this types of border bottom border and just you can find here one small uh, drop down menu uh, and if you click it here this in drop down menu you can find here all borders so options all borders when you'll do after selecting okay after selecting first you have to select and how to select i think you know that if not uh, this big plus sign this thick plus sign is says that it is ready to select see here when i did like this it looks like something odd okay so if i'll try to write here something it's overlapping and this so it does not look good so for that we have to merge the cell so merging cell means just first select this all like this you have to select till where you want okay so let's i'm going to select uh, this all up to this okay so um, by using this multi plus or we can say the thick plus thick plus and just drag it by pressing the left mouse button or shift right arrow and then here you can find the merge and center just click at the merge and center and it will be merge and center and you can increase the size from this here you can find here size so you can increase size suppose that is and uh, now you can set the color as well as if you wish according to our project here see here you can find uh, text color and then other color so just let's select this all and you can just fill here color so this is the color fill tool so if you will click it here you can fill the color like this and now text color so you can change the text color from here so this a from a you can change its color like white and for the department store you can just click at the department store one single click and then a, again you can do it. so <clears throat> so in this way you can select now we have we have we have here but 
let i'm going to write here formula but that formula does not work if you'll write here like p's and rupees so let's uh, it's a very complicated if you'll just equals to and for to find the total you have to multiply quantity and red so quantity asterisk red this is my formula if you enter now your formula is working but if you'll write here p after here after the numbers here if you'll write p like this it does not see here the errors and let's if you avoid that okay now it's working but if you'll write here rupees see here double click it here and just write here rupees if you'll write here rupees again it's not working so it is wrong way to write the currency okay like this rupees currency or something we cannot type and it's complications also so it's the best way just select it if you want to write some unit like p's p or kg or kilometer or something if you want to write units after the quantity okay just select these quantities or numbers right click it on here and then shell format you can see here shell format so please think about right click at this selected shell and then format shell format shell and then here you can find just after this here you can find here some samples after this or you can uh, here you can find the customs custom just click at the custom and then in custom here is the number you can choose any other number suppose i have written here zero after zero or you can include any more zero as your wish uh, and now just give here space and just type p p for piece or you can type here kg like kg like this uh, so let's let's i'm going to type here p only p okay so you can find here just let's i'm going to zoom it so here zero zero p custom you, you can just format sale custom and then type in the type you can just type zero zero p or just only single zero and then after then just click on ok if you do the ok see here already p p p you don't need to type that all it will come automatically and here for the rupees rupees um, when you write rupees dollar or something this is the currency so right click it here and just go to the format cell again as the same previously and if you choose here currency okay just choose the currency by default you can find the dollar dollar if you say okay then you can find here dollar is already but we don't want we want here rupees so please rupees for that again go to the for, uh, format cell format cell and in the place of this just uh, currency is already so here is drop down menu so if you click at here drop down menu you can find here the numbers of different currency so you can choose here rupees uh, by down scrolling here we can find like this uh, ru nepali ru also here is uh, <coughs> sorry you can find different numbers or areas also you can find just scroll down you can find areas but not nepali areas maybe you can find with urdu punjabi tamil anyone you can use any one of this so let's i'm going to use punjabi so now after this just click ok now you can find automatically edit like this it's wonderful really and formula also working see here my formula also working if you write just formula and it works see it's working before we we're writing it does not now it's working so now just drag it with this auto fill auto fill means <coughs> when you move your mouse pointer to this square sign here you can find the active cell at the active cell is right bottom corner you can find one small square button if you move your mouse pointer see my mouse pointer is changed into theme plus with black plus and by pressing left mouse button you can drag it like this it's for autofill autofill means copying the content with automatically okay now for the discount discount for the discount we are given here the um, complete 15 percent discount for each amount so only 15 percent of each amount so it's a very uh, simple way you can write just equals equals and then total total uh, 15 percent of the total 15% of the total so you just click it here you can find the sale address of that value particular value asterisk is into now 15% just write 15 and then percent sign percent sign shift 5 is the percent sign just enter it and it also works see here you can find it's also working if 
by default this rupees it does not show here then again you have to just click it here now you don't need to go format cell again just click it here and here is the format painter so you can see here you can see the format painter just click at this format painter and then click it here and it will show automatically by default okay so let's i'm going to show you here if whether it works it shows the rupees or not i will show you if not then i will show that format printer if not also i will show you okay so payable see here we are going to find the net payable net payable means up to the discount amount up to the discount so just you can click at the total minus and discount and enter so you can find here also rupees is coming but if you want if you if there is no rupees then like normally you can find that also you can do so and this is one way one project is completed so it's really very wonderful and simple and now if you want this should be compressed just move your mouse pointer in between of these two columns and double click or you can resize it like this here or you can just resize it you can by pressing left mouse button uh, and you can drag it uh, if if you wish you can drag it Okay. so in this way you can make now we have another project work another project project 2 so project 2 so we are given like this see here so here is like this types of uh, complete data we are going to find here the total by using but here we are not going to use the formula we will use only function only function so go to the sheet 2 and we are given so or you can type like this types of no here's rosebud schools and here name so we are in very simple um, format so let's just select this like this up to this as a previously what we have done just select it and here is the border so you can just click at here all borders you can find here borders but it does not look better so you can make it as like previously so select this all at the first row and merge and center when you'll do the merge and center see rosebody school is already there and now uh, you can color it or if you want to make it big size that also you can increase the size so right this and you can color just select at the previously i showed you you can color from here any one color so this is my color and now just select this part and make it bold so it looks better yeah like this and this part also you can just select and make it bold it looks better now here we are going to i told you we uh, i will show you just only function by using the different functions so let's i'm going to randomly put the marks so i can use here one function function is ready-made formula function is ready-made formula which is predefined already defined tax of that formula is already defined just you can use it so directly you can equal to formula and function always start with equal to so please don't forget to write equal to so we have to write the equal to sign and then here ran between so here is ran between you can see the formula so here is ran between yeah so let's i'm going to write here ran between and here bottom part bottom part means list value so list value is 20 and top value is suppose 100 out of 100 i'm going to mark it here just close the bracket and enter it so here is uh, i'm given the form here one marks already so like just select this with the auto fill tool this i have already explained about this auto fill tool see here you can find but one thing you can find whenever you click here is this content see here you can find here all this formula whenever you click whenever if you click it here you can find the here no value at all this all formula formula so now we are going to make this uh, formula into the real value so just select this value only just select like this with the uh, thick plus sign like this this is the ready to selections and control c is for selection control c is copy now right click at here and paste the value so here is one two three you can find here one two three so when you click at one two three it's only the value paste only value not formula uh, or you can find here formula or something else here is paste is special just click at one two three it's a value only so it is it's only value only is print pasted so now now you can check whenever you will click you can find here see here in uh, my formula bar you can find the real numbers whenever you will click like this
okay so another for conditional formatting just select it now here conditional formatting we are going to find here one wonderful things conditional formatting just highlight the rules and less than just select the less than highlight the rules or greater than also you can do but highlight the rules i'm going to just highlight the failure one less than less than 40 suppose my 40 is the pass marks so you can just do here uh, out of this format then less than less than what less than 40 if anybody is less than secured uh, uh, marks is less than 40 then it must be read like this see here so you can find this is failure moise is fail in two subject and suresh is fail in one subject and uh, arjun is fail in uh, one subject you can find like this or if you just change this value suppose here uh, is 24 if you write 42 then um, it enter and now it change see here you can change it now here uh, 37 or maybe here suppose 72 if you'll do just it's 27 that it also change it is as a failure okay so you can change like this and um okay so this let's i'm going to make it bigger so you can do the conditional formatting it's also wonderful one thing okay now we are going to find the total again using function using function we are not going to write the formula so we can just use the function so here uh, uh, we are going to find the total total means sum we will do the sum so just click it here after the total where you, you want output where you want answer just click it here and then uh, just click it here uh, sum in this uh, uh, summation symbols and here you can find the sum auto sum or formula by clicking at the formula menu also you can find auto sum if you click it here uh, computer ai provides you the selection so this is the formula and it's saying that sum sum of what sum of this value of all this selected cell address so this is called cell address cell address so here cell address is my cell range is d5 to s5 this is my cell range and enter you can find the total and you can do the autofill with this right bottom corner from the right bottom corner just drag it now you can find the total as well so for the percentage also you can find percentage means average so again go to just click it here at the percentage again go to the sum here sum and you can find just click it here you can find the average when you click the average now you have selected it but one thing is here is total also selected for these total selections uh, to avoid this total selection just press shift key and left arrow left arrow to reduce or you can change from here also now d5 to s5 we are going to select the only value from d5 to s5 so this is d column d2 yes columns is fair and just enter it now this is the percent or it's up 10 percent it's very simple is a kind of average but it works only out of 100 full marks out of 100 full marks now just select it and uh, now here see here it is not randomly it's a uh, uh, it's not in proper arrangement it's random uh, somewhere if no decimal or somewhere is after decimal is one digit so first select this and move your mouse pointer here this is the uh, decrease to avoid that all decimal value or uh, value after the decimals and it's increased the value after the decimal so it looks like better now for the rank another formula we have our function just you can find the rank functions or just click it here equal to this is rank function rank is the function here you can find so it's rank just click at the rank and tab it now here rank how to find the rank rank we are going to find from the percentage so you have to just click at percent now j5 is my percent then give comma here you have to give comma because we have to find the reference range so you have to again select with the, this thick plus big plus just select it our range like this and press your four function key f4 yeah, when you press the function key f4 it makes the absolute formula means concrete formula it does not change as it changed j5 j6 j7 but this is the same range for all so enter just enter now you can find one range and drag it down so now this range so in this way you can make your project work see here you can find here your project works is complete your projects is complete so uh well so this much for this video 
how do you feel please give comment let's write comment uh, and share to your friends thank you